Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also good morning. So I've been playing in SSF for quite a bit here and I wanted to go ahead and help you guys out because I've been getting a ton of questions on essentially how to find your Cloak of Defi- sorry, your Cloak of Flame, uh, your Rise of the Phoenix in SSF, and more so just abundance of unique items. So over here I have a boss tab that actually has nothing to do with bosses. It's just kind of about uniques that we have farmed so far. Uh, this character does not run any magic find, it is just pretty much this strategy. So we've got like Covenant, Wrath Pith, Cost Breeze, I don't know what this is but it went off on the filter. A bunch of Cursed Crypts, a bunch of Future Cloister, I know people struggle getting these. Shavs, Calandra's Touch, an Insane Venter's Gamble with the Calandra's Touch. Uh, multiple Prism Guardians, multiple Emperor's Vigilance, Anathema, Chavron's Revelation, Poet's Pen, uh, Storm Shroud, Brass Dome, Lion Eye, although this came from a uh, Seer. Aegis Aurora, Magnate, a whole bunch of Replica Dragon Fangs. You got a Diala's Dual Void Battery, Utula, Immutable Force, Blood Notch, Rolakesh, and it kind of goes on. So let's go ahead and get started. Step one, you're going to need a character that can tackle this type of content. So my Righteous Fire Chieftain works out really well for this, but it is very rippy. Um, you'll see here I'm doing this strategy to get myself a Defiance of Destiny as I do not have that yet. And I also have some dupe uniques that are good for my build as an example here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop up the tab. So this is like an example of some extra Immortal Fleshes, uh, some extra Rise of the Phoenixes, Cloaks of Flame. Uh, I'm collecting the Rise of the Phoenix so I can double corrupt for some better modifiers right now. Uh, then here's another one with some failed ones. And then here is another tab. And you can see we are loaded on Cloaks of Flame. So step one is going to be deploying the Rogue Exile farming strategy. Now the Rogue Exile farming strategy consists of spawning a crap ton of Rogue Exiles on a glacier map. We'll get into that in a minute. Um, and then on top of that, they're going to be possessed with Exiled Will, massively increasing their quantity and rarity, and then you scale your quantity and rarity nodes on Tormented Spirits. Now, the whole premise of how this works is building on the gimmick of unique monsters in area drop an additional unique item. Now, if you watched my video from like a month ago, we were doing this in Trade League with much higher investment. Now we're doing it more in SSF, and I believe I got the Glacier Strat from Ventrua. So, to get started, I'm not going to talk too much about my Atlas. I will just have it posted down below. Just know that there are some things you could change. For example, you could drop Shrine Nodes and the Strongbox Nodes in favor of like Betrayal, for example. I prefer these kind of for hitting the jackpot. Uh, I would say on average, I hit about 80 unique monsters killed per map, upwards sometimes of 100, 200, and one time I have had 300. And then you're going to want Ritual. Okay, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open and jump right on into this. So, stage one, we have Glacier. Glacier because there's like seven or eight unique goats at the end, so even if you get a bad run, you guarantee to get those unique mobs. I like to roll for zero damage mods. Poison on hit is a little scary, vulnerability is a little scary, but we'll run it just for the sake of convenience here. Next up, you want to make sure you're on the Rogue Exile farming. Now, I will also potentially be doing a part 3 series, uh, one with the back to basic strat to funnel scarabs for this, and number two, the strong box and chill to funnel maps, uh, basically to funnel D17 to then go back into Rogue Exile farming. Uh, here's an example of my Scarab tab, although we have been playing for quite a bit. This character, I think, is uh, about three days playtime. It's farm majority of these Scarabs, for sure. Okay, so Glacier in, double Rogue Giant because they stack, four additional Rogue Exile, and Guaranteed Unique. This is pretty solid. I don't think there's really too much you can change with this. And then over here, we want to make sure we hit Anarchy. And then we take a look here. So... 840% rarity, that would be good to use a Rogue Exile All Flame on. Just for the sake of the video, I will not use any All Flames to just show that it is still decent. Um, so th this would be kind of good. Other than that, I don't really care too much about these. Goats are kind of scary, so I'm going to give them a mod that doesn't really matter. And we're just going to go ahead and run it like that, and I'm going to show you guys how I go about it. So, right when you zone in, you're going to you're going to notice that there are four rituals. It's important that you actually pay attention to the rituals. So this one has a rogue giant. That's very big. So this right here is potentially ritual one. I'm going to put a portal here to remember. The order that you do your ritual in does matter. 100% it matters. This one has a rogue exile, but no giant. So this is okay, but nothing too fancy. The reason that the order of the ritual matters is because... When you do the ritual first, 
It will then take all the mobs from that ritual and take it to the second ritual. So if you start with the one with the more rogue exiles, then uh, you, you basically are just increasing how much, how many mobs you're killing. So see here, the giants, when you kill them, they will basically split and split and split. And every single time they split, they essentially are going to die and then you, they drop a unique, right? So that's pretty much where the core foundation comes. I'm using a filter that's like really hiding a lot of uniques that I don't care about, which is very much majority of them. Just because otherwise you're going to be stuck here for so long. Down at the bottom right here, we got the $500 supporter pack, so you can actually see how many unique mobs we are killing. This is kind of how I track my progress. So, there is one ritual here. Looks like there is quite literally nothing in there. So, that one is, so far, third. And then, we're going to hope that there's not another ritual. Because if there isn't another ritual in this corridor area, it means there's a boss ritual. Boss rituals are always juicy on Glacier. Looks like we got a boss ritual. Very nice. Got pretty unlucky with our rogue giants though, but it, it redeems itself because we got a boss ritual. So here is the boss ritual. You can see here... Hey look, a mage pod, oh, just kidding. You can see here uh, the goats that all kind of spawn. We're at 41 now. Then we got the boss right here. That's 42. Then we're going to click this one. You could click this one or the rogue giant. Both of them are going to work well. But now you can see the 42 will go to what? Maybe 50, maybe 49. Take a look see here. The reason you want to have like a tanky character is because you do not want to die when doing ritual. If you die in the ritual, you lose the ritual. You don't really want to do that with the strat. Okay, time to go back to the first one where we should have like seven. You can see how well the ritual can carry uh, when doing a strategy like this. I know there's gonna be some people who will comment saying that ritual mobs have significantly less like quantity of items or rarity of items drop. But remember that you are overriding part of that with the reliquary scarab of overlords that's guaranteeing a unique item drop. I have tested this with strong boxes with revive and it unfortunately does not work. I don't think the rogue exiles revive and they definitely don't drop a unique item. Strongbox method can work, it's just a bit more niche and I think a little harder to pull off. Oops, 61. I think that was the giant we just killed. I think that was the giant. Mage Blood could be Oh, Mage Blood. Oh, unlucky. One day this filter will not lie to me. I think there was one rogue exile here, so we'll do this one here. Was I wrong about the giant? I didn't get to see. I think we were right about it, I just didn't see very well. 63, let's see. We should go up to like almost 80 from this one if there was a giant. Where is the giant? Okay, that's the big ass goat. Oh no, there is a giant right up there. I see him. 72, yeah, okay, he just split. 74. And, okay, there we go. Now we're going to go back to the last one over here. And then this will still pull the rogue giant and all of the goats. So this should go up to like 90, maybe a little more than 90. Also, what you want to look at here is we're not just getting 90 unique items, right? Or well, set 80 in this context. That's like the bare minimum because remember they're they're dropping a guaranteed one that doesn't mean you're not getting another, right? The reason I say that is because this map, for example, has 447 rarity on it. Oh, hey, look, another Atula's Hunger. That's pretty rare. I've only found one of those. Okay, and then the rain at the end. Unlucky. So this is pretty much what we're doing to try to find our very, very rare uniques like Defiance of Destiny. It works out pretty well. It's, I don't know, I kind of, I don't mind it. It's pretty, I dare I say, relaxed for me, um, since there's not too much that really goes on. I don't know, it's pretty fun. It's probably getting nuked from Oblivion next league, so, uh, yep. Take that. 
I've been taking ritual splinters as well. I don't know how big of a deal these are, but the thing about the ritual splinters is some of the rituals I have contained, for example, have a shit ton of rogue exiles in them. And I imagine that this is way better than a regular uh, rogue exile Arab that we would be using. So this is something that I have kind of been collecting um, to see if we can make something really good off of that. Anyway, that is pretty much about it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Let me know if the quality has bumped up a little bit as well. Also, thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you want to see a part two and three to the for the uh, Back to Basics Atlas and the Strong Box and Chill. But I'm out for now. Thanks everyone so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day but Sundays at twitch.tv slash box. See you guys all tomorrow.